Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on graphing our Django model structure and to help us to achieve this goal we're going to utilize the Django schema graph package. So what you need to do is you first of all need to have a basic Django project up and running so as you can see here I just have a simple Django project here nothing too fancy and the only thing that I have to do is head on to my terminal and as you can see here, I just need to make my default migration. So just make sure you have a simple Django project. You've got all that set and ready to go. And all I want to do here is after I have ran my server initially, I just want to run Python manage dot py migrate and just make all those default migrations. So this is just something you need to do beforehand. So that's perfect. And let me just um, leave my application in the run server state. So just make sure you've got that all set up and ready to go and we're all good. All right, so the next thing that we can do is actually go right ahead and install this package. So it is Django schema graph. So we can go ahead and ensure that we install that package within our virtual environment. So we can say pip install Django schema graph. So it's going to be relatively um, fast and there we go, it's been installed. So let's look at the instructions. So the first thing that we need to do after installing it is we need to add it to our installed apps. So here we have it, schema graph, and I'm gonna copy that, head on over to settings.py, and I'm just going to scroll down until I see installed apps. And right at the bottom, we can add in schema graph, and I'm just going to align this uh, properly here. And that's what you need to do for that. The next thing that we need to do is we need to add it to our URLs. So from the schema underscore graph.views, we want to import schema. And this is going to in turn go ahead and create a URL pass here and also set up that view for us automatic automatically with the customization that's part of this app. So what you're going to want to do is first of all, head on over to your main urls.py file. So here I have Elevate, that's my Django project. I want to go to my main urls.py file and I just want to remove these comments here. Okay, so make sure you've cleared that up. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and add this line in. So from schema underscore graph dot views, import schema. And actually I'll just zoom in here for clarity. And you want to copy that and paste it right at the top. Next, we are of course on Django 4. So we're going to use the two plus option here. So Django two plus. And you want to go ahead and copy and paste this particular um, URL pass here. And we can add that just below our default admin uh, pass. So we can just add that right in. And in order to view these schemas in terms of our Django models, we need to go ahead and head on over to this URL that we have here called schema. And we can actually go ahead and get, do a test run here. So once you've added this in, you can head on to your Django application. Just make sure that your server is running. So I'm going to say Python manage .py run server. Okay, let's just wait for that. Great. And now you can just put in forward slash schema forward slash, just like so, so schema. Enter. And there you go. You can see all the default um, model structure that's already set for your application already. And of course you can zoom in, take a look, and you can even see the subclasses, the abstract base classes, etc., and how all of that comes together with your abstract user, abstract base user, permission model. You can see our user model, our permission model, log entry, which is of course one of the default models for Django admin. And if you want to see more about that, you can just click here on this icon in the top left. And here you can see everything that it's based on. So from Django Contrib Admin, Django Contrib Auth, Content Type Sessions, and these are all of the apps that we have. So if you recall, um, those apps that we migrated form part of the apps here. So we can see we have Admin, Auth, Content Type, Sessions, Messages, Static Files. Now, of course, not all of these will be included. So what we can see is we have the Contrib, the Admin app, the Auth, Content Type, and Sessions app. So we can see we've got that's set up here accordingly. And in terms of each of these apps, so let's drop down into the Django.contrib auth app here. 
we can click here and we can see them all the models that are associated with that particular app. So here we can see we've got the user model, for example, the permission model, and we can also see some more detail in terms of groups and our abstract and base users, more specifically geared if you want to use custom authentication in Django. Of course, for example, with the admin app, we can go ahead and look here and we can see it has one model attached to it, which is log entry. So it's a very good uh, package if you want to go ahead and just experiment a bit and see all of your models graphically. Now, of course, we are going to create our own app. So as you can see here, we have four of the default apps here from Django. So what we're going to do with a test for visualization is we're going to create our own app and then we're going to attach two models to that app and then we want to view those uh, particular models here in the schema landing page here. So what we can do is head on over to our Django application. It's going to close everything. And first of all, we just want to create a normal Django app. So what you can do is you can just stop your server and I'm going to say Django-admin start app and I'm going to call my app CRM. Just as an example, you can call your, give your app any name you want. Great, and I want to add CRM. So here's my app uh, CRM. I want to add that to settings.py. And under installed apps, I want to put in CRM. So I just want to ensure that that app has been installed. So make sure you do so. Next, we want to create two models as a test. So we can go to CRM to models.py. And you can go ahead and create your own models. Okay, so what I'm going to do just to simplify this here, because we're not focusing on models, is I'm going to add two custom models that, I already, that I've already created. So I'm going to copy these two models. Here we are. So the first model is just based on a student. The attributes will include first name, last name, date of birth, and email. And the second model here that I'm um, adding in is a product model which takes in the name, the description, the price, and if that product were to be in um, in stock. So you can take a good look here if you want to use the exact same models. I would strongly suggest that you um, have a look at Django models first or that you have some knowledge of it if you want to go deeper into it. So preferably you already have some experience with models here because we are graphically um, showing our model structure and defining it. So we have, of course, a student model and a product model. Okay, so make sure you've got two models in place here in your models.py file. Once you've got that in place and that you're ready to go, what you can do, of course, is you can make your migrations and migrate it to your default SQLite database. So I'm just going to say python manage.py make migrations. There we go, so it's created two models for me, a product and student model. And then I'm going to say python manage.py migrate. And this is going to send those models to my database. Great. Now, the last thing I want us to do is just to register these two models with our admin.py file. So I'm just going to drag the admin.py file right here. And what I want to do is, first of all, go ahead and say from dot models. And I'm going to import the two models I have. So student and product. Now, the reason I'm saying from dot models is, of course, I want to import two models from the models.py file, which is in the same directory. So I can just say dot models to reference that particular file. And import here, I can reference directory by the model name or the class name you could say, which is student and product. So I can say import student product. Next, I want to register these models. So I'm going to say admin.site.register and I'm going to do it one by one. First, it will be student then admin.site.register, and then it will be product. Perfect. Now what you can do is clear your terminal and just run pi run server. Okay, there we go. We can head on back to our schema, just uh, refresh now. Okay, and as you can see now, we have two new models. And the good thing here about this scheme is you can actually go ahead and move this around. You can move around your Django models. You can see it's very interactive. Of course, you can zoom in by, of course, going ahead and scrolling. So you can scroll in and you can scroll out just to see everything. So here we have student and product. Now let's head on over to the blue here and we can see we have our CRM app right here. So CRM was the app that we created. So here, remember earlier, we created an app called CRM. 
And in CRM, we have two models, namely student and product, which of course we've also registered. And we can also see that if we click here on this drop down arrow for our app CRM, we can see we have a product and a student model. And that's of course showing up right here. And of course, as you can see here, if we were to highlight on it, we can see it's part of the group CRM. In other words, it's part of that app. And of course, this product here, we can see the group is CRM and the name of that particular model. So the name here means the, the Django model, it's product. And of course, this one is student. All right, so this is a better way in which you can conceptualize and just use this as like a drawing board just to see all of your Django models, your model structure. And of course, there are additional options here that you can, of course, just play around with and just learn a little bit more and just experiment with as you go along. All right, guys, so that's it for this video tutorial. So I just wanted to show you how you can graphically go ahead and view your Django model structure. So that's it, guys. And as always, thank you for the support and see you next time. See you.